Hey, it's Down Regulation Saturday. Guess who's on tap? The Debbie Steingaster. But look, physio, physio, physio. Coach, 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 coach. And on the end, who's that tall drink of water? That's Nick Vaughn, super surfer, dropping into town. So uh, we're gonna see big wave surfer extraordinaire suck it up. Because uh, actually you do have a yoga practice and a breathing I practice. Do. I do. So don't make us look too bad. All right, here we go. <laughs> Debbie, take it away. All right, so I wanted to work a lot in the hips, um, especially because I've been seeing with my athletes that um, one of the things that happens when you're doing a lot of crazy shit in the gym is that you, ooh, can I say that? I can mm -hmm. say that. You can. <laughs> Um, is that you, you suddenly have are missing that last corner of your external range. So we're gonna actually do some standing poses today that will help if you use the breathing correctly to calm the body down. All right, Kelly, join us. Uh, we're gonna start in downward facing dog. So go ahead and find your dog, take five breaths. For your first downward dog, walk your feet back a little so you have um, some extra space. Good, nice guys. Nick, take your feet a little wider. So you want your feet inner hip distance apart. That's about two of your own fist distance between your feet. And take five breaths to just pedal out your dog. Bend one knee and then the other. Good. Nice. Once you've got your five breaths in downward dog, we'll just inhale forward to plank pose. Exhale, lower down all the way onto your belly. Untuck your toes, press into your hands, and inhale up into just a little baby cobra just to stretch out the spine. Exhale, lower down and press yourself back to downward facing dog through bent knees or straight leg. Good, now inhale, reach your right leg up, three-legged dog, find internal rotation first, and then bend your knee, roll your right hip open and stack your right hip over your left. Good, so as you're doing that, think about a hollow body for your spine. So you wanna be strong through your low belly. So the rotation is just coming through your hips and then, good, flex through your feet. Nice. John's got a really good point here, like the Barbie point thing going on. You can do that too. Just keep the foot active. Breathe. Nice. Now you're going to straighten your right leg and step your right foot forward between your hands. Pivot your left heel down so your heel and your heel are in alignment. Your back toes are spinning in about 45 degrees and then lead with your left arm to rise up into warrior two. So think about warrior two as though you're doing a box squat with your front knee. So the knee is right over your ankle. And then your back leg is internally rotated. So you have that left thigh pointing in. Good, so he overdid the rotation here a little, John. So he's gonna come out and then press down into the big toe of your right foot. And then from that pressing down, lift through your chest. So it's almost like you're getting a back bend through your upper back as you expand from fingertips to fingertips. Good. Now breathe here. You guys look so serious and awesome. Yogis. Cool, okay. Straighten your right leg now. Lift your chest, take a full inhale, and then as you exhale, long breath to reach forward. Take your right hand onto your right ankle. You can bend your right knee a little if your leg is really stiff, or if you have a block or a kettlebell or something to hold onto there, you can do that. And then extend your left arm up to the sky, come into triangle pose. Good. Nice, so keep as much bend in your right knee as you need. Deanna's doing a really good job here of finding length through your right side body. So one thing that I see a lot in triangle is this side collapses to find length here. So you wanna really, I'm not gonna drop you. You wanna really lengthen through your right side to find that extension and then reach up through your fingertips, jazz hands or whatever you wanna do there. Yeah, spirit, spirit fingers. Okay, I'm being like creepy yoga teacher. All right, so stay in your triangle pose but you're gonna take your left arm alongside your ear so you get a nice side stretch. And then as you do that, release your shoulders away from your ears and try to take a long inhale to lengthen all the way out through your left fingertips. And then take your shoulder back. So here you go, you're in your overhead position. You feel? Yeah. See, the things that are tight are gonna be tight no matter what. We'll work on that. Okay, warrior two as you inhale, come all the way back up to the first shape. And then exhale, cartwheel your hands to the ground. Pause here with your hands on the ground. Take both hands inside of your right foot. Lower your left knee. Turn your right toes so they're slightly out. And then we're just gonna hang here in the hips. So just like you do with your Spider-Man stretch, you can stay onto your fingertips. You can come down onto your forearms if you like. We'll take about five to 10 breaths. If you wanna make it slightly active, you can always tuck your left toes under, lift that back knee up. 
Try not to collapse down in your left thigh, but you're lifting that leg. Good. Now breathe here. This is probably good for surfers, yes? It is. I've, yeah. only, I've only surfed like three times. Will you teach us? Absolutely. Okay, cool. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So now you're going to come back on your fingertips. Back knee is down. Press into your left hand. Also, if you have something, if you want to put a block here to raise the floor, you can do that. You're going to take your right hand onto your right thigh. Use your right hand to spin your chest open to the right. Now you can stay here, or if you want to get a quad stretch, you can bend your left knee and see if you can reach with your right hand for your left foot. Oh, that's so good. Bendy surfers, that's our new hashtag. <laughs> good. Tiana, I think you can go there too. Catch, yeah, go. Cool. Now, as you exhale, you can slowly draw that left heel towards you and rotate your right shoulder open a little more. Good. Nice, now come through center, lower your left knee. Place both your hands down, step back, downward facing dog. Inhale forward to plank. Exhale, lower all the way to your belly. Untuck your toes, just a little cobra legs stay engaged. Exhale, lower down, tuck your toes. Downward facing dog, press them. And then inhale, stretch your left leg up. Bend your knee, roll your left hip open, stack your left hip over your right. Keeping your left foot flexed. Press evenly into both your hands. So you want to be really sure, especially if you tend to overextend in your spine, that you draw your ribs in so that the back is nice and strong and hollow here. Good. A little bit more drawing in. Nice. Jenny's a Pilates teacher, so she's an expert at this. Good. Now straighten your left leg. Square your hips. Step forward with your left foot. Pivot your right heel down, so heel to heel alignment, back foot spinning in 45 degrees. Lead with your left arm, hit the whole rotation, rise up, warrior two. Good, and then imagine you have someone pulling your wrist on either side so that you lengthen out from fingertip to fingertip, and then bend your left knee so it's right over your ankle. Good. When I was learning surfing in Costa Rica, they told me to come up into warrior two when I, when I stood up. That's what they said. So this is functional. Good, now straighten your left leg. Lift your chest, breathe in, and as you exhale, reach forward, out, and down for a triangle pose. Left hand to your ankle, right arm to the sky. Good, when the yogis do this, sometimes they take their left hand to the ground. You don't have to do that. You just wanna find, you can do that, but see, as Ziana did that, when she took her hand to the ground, this side starts to collapse. So I'm gonna put her hand back up, and then you get more length through the left side. If you tend to hyperextend a little, keep a slight bend, good, through that left knee. Nice, guys. And then inhale, rise back up to, or oh, sorry, right arm alongside your ear, side stretch. Don't forget the good stuff. Find that overhead position. Breathe. Are you breathing? Yeah. Yeah, okay, cool. <laughs> <laughs> Warrior two, come on up. Now exhale, cartwheel your hands around your left foot. Pause, turn your back toes up, in, hands inside of your left foot, lower your right knee down. And then again, depending on your hips and your low back, you can stay here. You can also come down onto your forearm. One side might feel tighter than the other. Maybe tuck the back toes, lift the back knee. There's so many options and choices here. And everybody's gonna look different in this shape. These guys are doing a great job of keeping that back leg active. Good. Nice, and then you can press back to your hands. Stay on your right hand. Press your left hand on your left thigh, and then use that to leverage the twist here, opening up to the left. You can stay here, or you can bend your right knee and try to reach back and catch your right foot with your left hand. Coming a little deeper. Good, breathe deeply so you can hear your breath. As you exhale, try to draw that right heel in and turn a little more. Good, and lower your right foot. Step back, downward facing down. You can optional inhale forward to plank. Exhale, lower down. Inhale to your cobra. Exhale, lower, downward facing dog. And then we'll gaze forward between our thumbs, bend your knees and just lightly walk your feet forward. Sit down and lower down onto your back. When you 
can hug your knees into your chest. I like to actually extend my legs up and just shake my legs out a little. They call this unhappy baby. You can shake your arms too. Good. And then we're gonna place our feet flat on the ground. So your feet are a little wide and your knees are kind of buckled in towards each other. You'll take your arms by your sides and then just let all of your knees drop over to the left side. So it's kind of like a wide twist, feet are wide. And then you can stay here or you can cross that left foot over your right thigh to kind of leverage the right knee towards the ground. Good, and then if you wanna get a little counter to that, you can stretch up through your right fingertips and then try to get a little longer through your right side. We'll take five deep breaths here. You can close your eyes. Good, and now inhale back through center. Feet wide, knees slightly in. Lower your knees over to the right. And then again, you can stay here, or if you wanna go a little deeper, you can cross that right ankle over the left. You should be feeling this all through your right hip flexor IT band, and then reach your uh, left arm up to the sky. Five breaths here. Good, and then inhale back through center. Draw your knees down towards your chest. Curl your head in towards your knees. Take a full inhale. And as you exhale, slowly release into what the kids call California stretch. Close your eyes. Final resting pose, Shavasana. All right, spend about five to 10 minutes in your final rest, or if you fall asleep, good for you. You've done well. Down Regulation Saturday, we'll see you next week.